Hello everyone, my name is Air, and starting from today I'll be making beginner's guide of Genshin Impact. So, in this video I'm going to tell you guys all about leveling up, character level up, um, adventure rank, and world rank. So let's, and everything you need to know in this screen aside from weapon and artifacts. So let's talk about the adventure rank first. So adventure rank is basically when you complete your quest, commission. Commission and quest is similar, but a little bit different. So commission is more about the rewards, and then quest is to advance in the story and get rewards. So you get adventure EXP, and then you also get it from um, worshipping the statue. So those are, I'll probably cover that in a different video. But basically when you get adventure rank, it's very important because that's when you can level up ascend your hero, which I'll talk about later, and it'll also affect your drops in the game. Because the higher rank you get, you'll get better material from the monsters, from the mob. And then now we have world level. World level here is where you can get it from quests as well, and you can get it from, okay, right here. The world level increase along with your adventure rank. Okay, so you get better treasures, better material as well. So world level and adventure rank, it's different, but somewhat similar. Sometimes you need to complete adventure rank ascension quest to increase the world level. Okay, and adventure rank is important because again, you can increase your, you can ascend your hero, and then next you can get um, your dailies right here. So you get this thing here, you can do these. And then this will give you, give you EXP for your world rank, and then you can, well, this one, your BP level, this is where you can get all these rewards. So you wanna get to level 16 right away. Level 16 will unlock battle pass. This is where you can get all these reward. Top one is for free to play players. The bottom is when you buy a monthly pass. These right here. So these are China dollar because the beta right now. And I think when it converts to American, this is probably about like $15, I don't know. And this is probably like $20 or something. And I'm gonna be a completely free to play player. So I wouldn't know how these would work. Okay, so we're not gonna go into details of these. Um, and then you'll get to choose these weapons if you buy the pass. Okay, now we're gonna go to the um, character now. So the, these are your characters. Okay, and the geo, these are elements. So different hero has different elements. And the name is right here, element and name. And different element has different color. So my character is named Jesus. I just named her that. So the only character that I can rename is the hero, the main character, he or she, depends who you choose. Okay, now let's talk about attributes here. So attribute here is basically your character level. Like you see here, I'm level 50, out of level 50. And if you want to surpass level 50, you will have to get to the next star, which is Ascent. So Ascent right here shows you what material you would need to get to the next star. So I'm currently missing these fragment here, which requires adventure rank 30. So that's why it's important, the adventure rank. But it only applies to the main character. Only the main character cannot farm these. She has to get it from adventure rank reward, which means when you advance the story, you'll get these and she'll get to the next star level. And this is the stats that I was gonna show you when you get to level 60, okay? So this is where you get your, you can change your skin. For me, I don't have any skins, but I get these like wings. I don't even know where I got them, but you can change it. Okay, so this is where you level up. And this, I mean, you can level up when you max it, you can ascend. So I'm gonna show you guys how level up works. Okay, so you have to use these certificates once you level up. It will show you your stats. Very straightforward this game. HP, attack, defense. 
for stats. So you don't have to worry about these elemental mastery and max stamina right now. We'll worry about those later. Okay, so weapon and artifacts, basically your gear, your weapon, your other gadget game, they would call it like armor, accessory, your helmet, etc. We're not gonna cover this in this video because this will be another video content. Otherwise, this video would be really, really long. Okay, so we're gonna not talk about these. It's kind of in depth as well. It's very important how you understand uh, how to un how you equip your character. So we're gonna talk about constellation here. So this one here is basically um, making your elemental skill stronger because each character. If you guys have watched the trailer, that each character can summon elemental skills, and this will make them stronger. The skills and how do you unlock these right here? If you look at, okay, you need these things called crystals and it'll tell you where you can get them. So this one only applies to the main character. So you have fans with the story and you can buy from a souvenir shop. And there's a limit in every main town you can buy these. I think each main town you can buy like two or three or four. Don't quote me on that. Okay, so for the main character, she has two chart, she has two element, that's why. I think she'll get all seven element when you have fast, because each main town you go, she unlocks one element. So for now, I have Geo and Animal, that's what I call. The animal is the wind, this one's the earth. And you'll unlock these when you have fast with the story. For other characters, it's different. So for other characters, well, same thing, you will need to unlock it, and they require different material they don't call it, you know, crystal, whatever, right? Fortuna is what they call it. And the source is wish. What is wish? Wish is summoning. You will need to summon duplicate of the character in order to unlock these. So in other gacha games, these would be your, maybe they call it shards. This is where your star level up. I wouldn't call it star level in this game because this is where your star level up. So this one, I guess we just call it constellation. And again, you have to summon duplicate characters to get to unlock these so for her I did summon her twice so I was able to unlock these so you need seven of these to fully awaken them yes okay now we're gonna talk about talents I'm telling you talents even players been playing the beta for I don't know a week they don't even remember to unlock talents this is very important this is also where you get your passive where you get your stronger skills Okay, he'll get better damage, um, s slower cooldown, etc. And skill attribute also also show you if you do a combo of this. It doesn't show you the hit damage in the game itself when you do your combat, but you can kind of guess when you do five hit, you deal more, you deal more damage, etc. And this here is there's a requirement when you unlock these. So for example, if I'm looking at the last one here, unlocks a character essential on phase four. So how do you know when you're at phase one, two, three, four? So attribute, these are phases. So I'm currently at phase two. If I'm at phase four, I will have four stars and this will be unlocked. Okay, I'm currently at level two, which means I can unlock all these phase two. I'm pretty sure when I level up, I will need to be phase three to go level three. And when you click on level up, it shows you the requirement that you need, and it'll show you the stats on your improvement. And this is how much gold you will need. And so yeah, okay. So for other hero, same thing. You just need to have a different face. All right, and then last but not least for this um, menu here is a friendship level. It doesn't apply to the main character, but it applies to every single character. And you can see there's a friendship bar here. So friendship experience, what does it do? So it only, it's kind of useless for me, but maybe some people care. That's where you unlock the story of the character. You can read them. Okay, like you see here, unlocks at friendship level three, and then you can read about her story. So I, I wish they give bonus for that, but no, not really, unfortunately. But yeah, anyway, so that is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys have a better understanding about what, um, about this menu here. And oh, I forgot to say one thing. F for ascending, once again, you need, for the fragment, 
for the main character, you need to advance with the story. And for the other characters, you can farm them or you can craft them. And these are rare stuff, but, but yeah. Only the main character requires advancing with the story. The rest, no. All right, guys. Thanks for watching again. And if you like what you're watching, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'll be making a lot more guides um, about this game. Hopefully, I can help you guys before a global launch. And that's it. I think the next time I'll make a um, how to you know how to move like a pro when you're fighting you know a combat scene and I'll talk about weapon artifacts how you should equip them how you can level them up and what you should choose etc and there's yeah a bunch of other stuff once again thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye bye